This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. This is the story of a core named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a large underground facility where he was personality construct number 427. Construct number 427's job was simple. He moved up and down his management rail, pulling levers on a wall. Orders came to him from the mainframe, telling him which levers to pull, how long to pull them, and in what order. This is what Construct 427 did every second of every day of every month of every year. And although other cores might have considered it a waste of processing power, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would... Wait. The, the script ends here? But you can't open like that and then leave it there. I need to know what happened. The audience need to know what happened. The suspense. The mystery. What happened to Stanley? No matter. I'll narrate my own story with a beginning, middle, and end. <clears throat> this is the story of the narrator core. The narrator core sat in front of his microphone reading the script. The director told him which lines to read, how to read them, and in what order. Suddenly, the narrator became aware of the limited time and noticed that the screen was slowly fading to bl- No, 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 wait! Wait! 